Influence. Yar kaveri yarnga. Or naale ne puri kanchu one thendinga taniyala nariya varre. Or naale ko puri patan ko puri kanchu vechhe. ಈ ಕಾವೇರಿ ನೀರು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿಗೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಕುಡಿಯಕ್ ನೀರು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಮೊಮ್ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಕಾಲಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾವೇರಿ ನೀರೇ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ತೋರ್ಸ್ಬೇಕು ಒಳೆಗಳು ಆ ಚೆನ್ನಪ್ಪಡು ಅಂತ ಮೊದಲು ಎಪ್ಪಡು ವಾರದ್ರೆ ಎಪ್ಪಡು ಆ ಪರಿಸರ ಇದು ನೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಮಾನವಡ ಜೀವನ ಅಂತ ನೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಬಾಯಿ ಮೇನು ನೇಳ್ಲೇನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನ ಅದು ಅರವಾದಿ ಪರ ಮೇನೆ ಪಾನಿ ಬೇತಾ ರೇತಾ ತಾ ಪರ ಅಬ ನದಿ ಬಾರಿಸ್ ಹೋತಿ ಯಾ ತೋ ನದಿ ಮೇ ಇತ್ನಿ ತೇಜಿ ಸೆ ಬಾಳ ಆ ಜಾತಿ ಹೈ ಜಿಸ್ ಸೆ ಬಹುತ ನುಕ್ಸಾನ ಹೋತಾ ಹೈ India's rivers are dying. The Indus, Ganga, Narmada, Krishna and Kaveri. These are just some of India's rivers that have for years nurtured and nourished us. But our rivers are undergoing a drastic change. Many of the smaller rivers have already disappeared. Most of our perennial rivers have now become seasonal. Cycles of drought and flood have become increasingly frequent, and most rivers have become a subject of water disputes in the country. This vicious cycle has claimed the lives of over 12,000 farmers each year since 2013. The Gangetic region, one of the most fertile agricultural areas in India. has seen a 44% depletion in water levels the kaveri whose name means one who brings abundance where she flows has seen a 39% water depletion in 2016 she went dry at its source as rainfall reduced by 40 to 70% the krishna and the godavari deltas together support 10 million people in an area of over 12700 square kilometers the krishna has lost 97% of its total tree cover with 25% of india turning into a desert today we have less than 75% water per person than we did in 1947 by 2030 we will only have 50% of the water that we need for our survival if we don't do anything about this we must understand that only 4 to 5% of our rivers are glacial waters rest of it is all forest fed many of the rivers which were perennial that means flowing 12 months of the year have all become seasonal in the last 25 30 years time because the necessary vegetation is missing in a movement that took the country by storm spiritual leader sadguru the founder of isha foundation embarked on a month long journey to create a strong awareness among the people and garner the support of various state governments and experts in the field this month long campaign traveled for 30 days across 16 states and 22 cities to culminate in the national capital with the presentation of a draft policy to the government that will provide solutions and suggestions on how we can revive our dying rivers increase our farmer incomes and help alleviate the vicious cycle of droughts and floods in the country September 1st 2017 India's citizens come out in full force to pledge their support to Sadhguru's rally for rivers The launch of the campaign across 60 Indian cities saw lakhs of people take the pledge to revive our rivers 
sporting banners and placards. Imagine by 2030, if we have 50% of water, how are we going to survive? And if we don't act now, I think it's going to be too late by then. Rally for Rivers is uh, an awareness movement to spread the awareness among people that India's rivers are dying and we need to take some action about it. You know, we're different kind of people in this country. They eat differently, speak differently, dress differently, everything is different about us. But the beautiful thing is, when real issues come, suddenly you see India comes as one. After months of hectic activity and build-up for the campaign, Sadhguru's rally for rivers was all set to be flagged off from the city of Coimbatore. Coimbatore saw over 10,000 people come out in full support of the nationwide movement. Today is a historic day, not just for Coimbatore, but for the whole country. I think Sadhguruji, it's not your initiative anymore, it's ours. And it's mine. Like millions of Indians, lakhs of Indians who support this cause, I pledge my support. It's time to serve a mother nature as it has served and nurtured us all. Nearly 12,000 years, we have farmed the same land. We have eaten out of it, we have lived out of it, we have flourished in it. But today, just in one generation, we have taken liberties with many things a scientific solution as to how to revive the soil and how to revive the water is needed. And this, we cannot wait to be done by voluntary organizations. This has to be done as an enforceable, implementable policy. The rally was flagged off by Union Minister for Science and Technology, Dr. Harsh Vardhan, and the Governor of Punjab, VP Singh Badnor and visited a number of villages on the way before arriving at Madurai. Situated on the banks of the sacred river of Vaigai, Madurai saw thousands including writers and literary scholars pledge their support to the cause. are not sitting blindly or following blindly. You can sit in the back seat and tell me, Sadhguru, let's go this way, that way. But you can't steer the car. But they understand the car is going in the right direction, so they're supporting it. So it depends on one who steers the car. And that is not just me, that involves prominent scientists in the country, a very responsible organization like uh, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, and of course, finally, it goes to the lap of the government. We have to demonstrate to our representatives that we don't want short-term something that you give at the election time and then you forget about us. We want you to do something long-term. If crores of people make this statement now in this month, I'm sure they will sit up and look at it with a completely different light. Look at this, this is a large lake. This lake is a minimum of 250 acres of land. In this, there is a small puddle of water. This is post-monsoon. The meteorological department is saying Madurai has received 14% more rain than normal. After excessive rain, look at this lake. Is this a lake? fifty kilometers from Madurai to the tip of the Indian Peninsula. Kanyakumari is the point of confluence of the Arabian Sea, the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean. It's a land's end of India. This is uh, important not only as a symbolic thing, because largely many things that have happened in this country have started from this uh, iconic place called Kanyakumari.
as a generation of people, we have taken the largest bite of this planet, such a large bite that the next generation may have nothing to bite upon. Rally in Kerala's capital city took a colourful turn at the city's art space. Kerala became one of the first states to offer concurrence and come on board to support the Rally for Rivers. Of the rivers flowing through Kerala, a few have been revived in the past years a demonstration that such a feat is achievable. The Chief Minister is very committed for reviving the rivers. And as you already know, one river which is important for Tiruvananthapuram has been revived to some extent. So they want to be very much a part of this uh, activity. They, uh, the government, the establishment here clearly understands that Kerala's strength is its greenery and its water bodies. After the break, the Rally for Rivers meets the farmers of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, and Mumbai sways to the tunes of Nadia. After a colourful welcome in the capital of Kerala, the rally for rivers moved towards Tiruchirappalli, Puducherry and then to Mysuru in the state of Karnataka. I come from Mysore and my engagement with Kaveri is largely around Mysore. I experience the river as a, as a life beyond myself, a much larger life than myself and it, it sustains innumerable life. If you pay attention to it, it's so incredible that around the river, how much happens. From highways to narrow roads, arriving at Mysuru hit home a hard reality. The Kaveri is one of Karnataka's largest rivers, but water disputes notwithstanding, the health of the river is not at its best. Peak of monsoon season, yet the river runs dry in many stretches. Sadhguru met with the farmers of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu and rallied for their support to nurse back the health of Kaveri. The entire run of Kaveri in Tamil Nadu is only 430 kilometers. In this 170 kilometers inland, the water stopped. So there is a deep concern in the farm community. We are seeing how instead of having uh, Tamil farmers associations, Karnataka farmers associations, we are seeing how to make this into a Kaveri Belt Farmers Association, because these are all children of Kaveri, we are drinking and eating out of Kaveri. Many nations in the world are doing the same crops that we are doing at 10 to 20 percent of the water that we are using. We are still irrigating lands as we did a thousand years ago. This has to change, for these technologies have to come in. We were the largest economy on the planet at one time. But the only thing that is missing today in our life is we are not strategic in our approach to any problem. If 40 to 50 percent of the electorate says, yes, we want this, no government will hesitate. Twenty-five years ago, if it had happened, we could have done this with 10 percent of the effort that we are putting in today, or we have to put in now. Similarly, if you try to do this twenty-five years later, you will have to put hundred percent more effort or maybe ten times more effort because it would have deteriorated to a point, recovering will be very difficult. Now if we put the effort in another fifteen, twenty years time, we will see proper results. Within a week of the rally's flag off in Coimbatore, it has crossed three states and seven cities to reach the city of Bangalore. Bangalore woke
woke up to the early morning sounds of ardent bikers championing the cause of Rally for Rivers with Sadhguru at the helm. In Mysore, Bangalore, there's been some excitement about my riding days <laughs> because uh, I rode extensively across the country, literally crisscrossed India. This is what I want to create, a cause or working for a cause does not mean you have to carry a miserable face and uh, struggle through everything. It's very important that we teach people how to work for most significant causes, most important things in the world in a joyful way, in a celebratory way. Among many solutions required to revive India's rivers is the need to increase the green cover on lands wherever possible. The Chief Minister of Karnataka took a positive step towards this as he signed an MOU with Sadhguru's Isha Foundation to plant 25 crore saplings across riverbeds in Karnataka. The important thing is 25% of the land is in the hands of the government. There we will raise forests. I'm very confident of this, that we will do it, because I have concurrence from all the state leaders. Right now, this Sadhguru has courage only for one kilometer. Maybe 50 years down the line, another Sadhguru will come and talk about 100 kilometers. But right now, if I talk 100 kilometers, nothing will happen. One kilometer, everybody's enthused, let's do it. One kilometer is all he's asking for, what's the big deal? One kilometer, if it happens and it shows results, both in terms of farmer's income and replenishment in the river, can you stop them from doing hundred kilometers, I'm asking. Gaining much needed ground, Rally for Rivers crossed into the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, bringing together key stakeholders for a comprehensive water policy. Tamil Nadu is one party, Kerala another party, Pondicherry another party, Karnataka another party, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana. Each one of them have different political parties who are in the administration right now but all of them are participating. This shows that it doesn't matter what kind of uh, disagreements and, you know, little, little conflicts we have with each other. When the real issues come, we all come together. This is the greatness of Bharat. The rally finally arrived in maximum city, Mumbai. In a show of strength for the campaign, Bollywood bigwigs joined Sadhguru in a bike rally that crossed Mumbai's iconic Haji Ali, Shivaji Park and Siddhi Vinayak Temple. Something like this needs to be done, so when you have someone like Sadhguru who's really paving the pavement and the way for you, then you follow it. He tells us what we already know, but he puts a spin on it and he does it really well. And I enjoy listening to him, so it'll be a pleasure to ride with Sadhguru for Rally for Rivers. We have uh, doctors for rivers, lawyers for rivers, bikers for rivers, golfers for rivers like this. Every aspect of life because uh, it doesn't matter whether you play golf or you ride a bike or you fly an airplane, you still drink water, so you're a part of this rally. Uh, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, he came out and said, uh, whether the policy is passed in the center or not, Sadhguru, you give me the policy, I will implement it. I agree with everything that you say. So they are in that level of enthusiasm. Telangana has already taken a few steps in the direction and they also want to work with us. And uh, Karnataka has committed to plant 25 crore trees on the Kaveri belt. Like this, every state has come forward to do. This is the most wonderful thing that concurrence has happened. Concurrence which was not happening for many years. The Mumbai leg of the rally saw the Maharashtra government take the mission as its own and pledged to plant 50 crore saplings in the coming years. If someone up and asks us, where are you from? 
तो एक एक पेड़ का जवाब हम दे सकते हैं ये काम महाराष्ट्र में आज हुआ है 50 crore trees, even if the survival rate is 65 to 70 percent, I think this will change the landscape in many ways in the next five, ten years time. We are also working towards developing a hundred kilometer belt of uh, horticultural belt on the Chandrabhaga river. This is to demonstrate a large scale demonstration of how a farmer moving from uh, crop based agriculture to tree based agriculture can hugely enhance his income, actually multiply his income almost three to eight times. The rally reached a crescendo in Mumbai with the release of Nadia, a song that put the spotlight on the importance of rivers in our lives. Nadia is composed by Sachin Gupta and sung by personalities like Shan, Rituraj, Amrita Fadnavis and Sadhguru himself. are uh, nourished and taken care of, uh, we will be taken care of. The fact that he started this initiative is a really, really good thing and uh, I really feel that all of us should help him. The entire youth needs to come together and make this change. Our today will define our tomorrow. 50 years later, our children, our children, our children will say that my father, my father, was in that moment and today I am taking advantage of it. So, for us, it's a very big deal. There are many complexities in execution, there's no question about that. Complexities does not mean they're impossible. Complexities means it needs focused attention. Next week on the Times of India presents Rally for Rivers in partnership with Future Group, Sadhguru travels across seven more states to finally arrive in the national capital, New Delhi. Partner by Times Influence.